Uh, just so you guys know, this was a, um, a fake gun. It was an airsoft gun, not a real gun. You can see here, bullets can't really fit in that small of a space. So, yeah, that proves that it's an airsoft. I just spray painted it black, and then what I did was use some um, double sided tape here, applied it right about here, put the uh, bullet casing right here. So I know it's not the right caliber or size, but still, it was just a test. Um, put it right there on the side of the double tape, just enough so when I went like that, the bullet would fly off and fall. Filmed a, f a separate shot of it falling, made it slow motion, and a separate shot of it hitting the ground and bouncing. And that's how I pulled off the test of the gunshot, which we'll be seeing in the new um, upcoming film, short film, uh, Captain America Begins. Oh, forgot that was on. Um, one more tip. Make sure when you're using um, a fake gun like, like this, if you spray paint a gun black, people might think it's real, especially cops. So be careful using it outdoors. Uh, it's mostly good for indoor shots, but um, if you do use it outdoors, make sure you be careful around cops because they might think it's a real gun and they will fire upon you if they think it is a real gun. Unless it has like an orange tip or something, it's not really safe to use it around people too because they might think it's a gun and call 911. So um, I hope this video helped you learn uh, more tips and tricks for uh, fake guns and movies and action. You know, action like. So if you decide to use this in your movies, please be careful because, you know, people might think it's a real gun. So that should wrap it up. That'll be about it.